Hey there, my fellow explorers of love and desire. It's your charismatic dating coach, Emre from KamaLifestyles.com, ready to take you on a thrilling quest into the intricate world of human emotions. Today, we are diving headfirst into the question that has tickled the curiosity of both women and men. Are women scared to catch feelings if they sleep with a guy? Are the intricate dance of physical intimacy and emotional vulnerability? It's a delicate balance that keeps us on our toes. So get ready to unravel the secrets of the heart as we embark on this captivating exploration together. Brace yourselves for candid insights, thought-provoking perspectives, and a sprinkle of fun along the way. Let's dive in. Are women scared to catch feelings if they sleep with a guy? Yes, 100%. I mean, I've done that many times. No. Women catch feelings all the time. Definitely. They will feel scared. If you're genuinely looking for a relationship, then yeah. It's something that you catch feelings after a while. You don't catch feelings on the, on the first on the first meeting. They catch feelings because they don't use their brains. If you use your brain, you can't catch feelings for somebody else that doesn't catch feelings for you. You have to always be in the controlling seat because men do not control their minds. They, downstairs, controls their minds. No, I'm scared that the guy will catch feelings. I'm not afraid to catch feelings because I know that I can lose them quite quick. Not necessarily scared of catching feelings, but just as it happens for the opposite sex as well, I guess. Isn't anybody scared to catch feelings if they sleep with anybody? I feel like it's different with girls because girls catch feelings easier. I definitely know girls that are like way more reserved because they don't want to put themselves in a situation where they fall for a person and then it doesn't work out 100%. Women aren't going to like catch feelings like immediately. It depends on the person obviously. So You agree with that? Yeah, I agree. I think women are probably scared. There's always that feeling, there's that step if you really like somebody and then you end up. So what would you do if your boyfriend has a low libido? Buy a good dildo. I feel like communicate and like try to like see what the issue is, is the best thing to do. I'll probably break up with them. I mean you could always, there are many things that you could do. You could always go old school with the fingers or... <laughs> go old school with the fingers! Well, well there's, there's a lot of like, you know, new technology about, so you could, yeah. you know, do something with that. There's vibrators, there's, there's vibrators, sex toys. All of that, but there's not, you know, there's nothing that hits like old school. Maybe it's just wait and see what happens. I think it's just phases and phases. I want to do anything. It's it's not an issue. We can make it work. Okay, what are you going to do to make it work? Get some science involved. There, There's definitely... <laughs> <laughs> Get the signs involved. Viagra. Yeah. Viagra. What, what else? What she said. You need to find somebody who matches your libido. Do not go out with a man if, who has a high sex drive. If you don't, it's never going to work. Take Viagra uh. pills. <laughs> Viagra pills. All right. You watch porn with him to see what he likes. And if you're into it, try it. Why not? Sometimes, completely fine. But if they have loads of sex drive all the time, it's kind of a, it puts me off because it's like. I want you to want me like a rabbit. Yeah, literally, it's like I want you. I want you to want me. So if you, if you don't want me any time, with you. Yeah, it's yeah. like if you don't want me all the time, it's like well, tell me what makes you want me. Well, 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 my curious comrades, we've hit the streets and unearthed some intriguing insights into the fears and emotions surrounding physical intimacy for women. Remember, every individual is unique and perspectives may vary. The dance between desire and vulnerability is a complex one and it's essential to approach it with empathy and understanding. If you enjoyed this insightful discussion, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more engaging conversation on relationships and dating. And for expert dating advice and guidance on navigating the twists and turns of modern love, visit KamaLifestyles.com. This is your dating coach Emre signing off with a reminder to embrace the beauty of emotions, seek meaningful connections and always be open to the transformative power of love. Stay tuned for more captivating content coming your way soon. We'll be